This is how to unlock Android 21's moves from DLC 10. My voice is shattered, but I'm making this video anyway. You're gonna unlock Total Destruction Ball. When you jump up, you're temporarily invulnerable and Photon Swipe, a cool move which I really haven't found a use for yet. I haven't played the DLC much, to be honest. You unlock this in Parallel Quest 139, War and Pieces. When you start this match, you're gonna have plenty of time, so feel free to charge up all of your Reserves of monstrous key transform into your shiny, shiny, yellow, shiny form, and then eventually the portal will open, you'll fly through and start the mission. When you come face to face with Hercule and Majin Buu, you'll be quite sad to know that Hercule doesn't die in two hits, so you might have to put a little bit more work in than you'd originally thought. <laughs> but these don't drop anything to my knowledge, so you can use whatever skills you've gained from the other parallel quests, kind of mop them up because they don't really get, uh, they don't really give you anything, so just get past this as soon as you can. With these parallel quests, anything that kind of teleports you around and does a large amount of damage will really be kind of to your benefit. Something like Faint Crash will let you get that easy stamina break. Stuff like Warp Kamehameha will get you some easy damage dealing move in there. Some easy damage dealing damage or something like that. <laughs> Just something like you spam. Super Soul, um, I hope you're reborn to someone good this time. Just lets you continuously keep the pace up despite having to fight loads of enemies at once. It is a really good time saver and it helped me out a lot during this mission. Once you've defeated Hercule and Majin Buu, you'll have a lot of dialogue to sit through, the portal will open, and then you'll fly through with haste. When you come to the Cell games, you have to fight Gotenks and Yamcha, and also you have to fight Jarko. You can catch them completely off guard with a Walk Kamehameha and deal huge damage to all three of them at the same time without them blocking, so keep that in mind. This mission is amazing for Walk Kamehameha surprise attacks. <laughs> Just don't get caught off guard by Yamcha, because it will be embarrassing. But Warp Kamehameha is absolutely invaluable in this mission particularly. Just because it lets you do so much damage without any drawbacks. They don't attack you for a good 5 seconds at least. And there's an equipment drop. Not sure what that one was. But it's something at least. And then when you get rid of Jaco and Yamcha and Gotenks. Then the portal will open. And you can fly through with haste. Once you fly through you'll be able to fight Captain Ginyu, Zarbon and Dodoria. And you can catch them off guard with a Warp Kamehameha, just like the last set of people. Didn't do it in this video, because there's something horribly wrong with me. But <laughs> you can do a decent amount of damage with whatever you do. It's a little bit annoying. There's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, a mishmashy kind of set of missions, this DLC. There's so much going on, it's hard to see what you're doing sometimes. So you just have to kind of just spam ultimates and just hope that you're not stamina broken or caught in something. It's just... Uh, a little bit difficult to see what you're doing sometimes, but it's not impossible. And so just uh, do your best, spam some ultimates, and be very, very careful. <laughs> the little surprise turkey whoosh for Captain Ginyu. And then you'll wait. You can pop some uh, recovery pills for your team, sit through even more dialogue, and eventually, eventually, you'll finish. Or will you? Because you'll get the ultimate finish portion of the mission unlocked from this point, despite being in a burning mess, Captain Ginyu will still tell you about something coming your way, which will be Freezer and Final Form Cooler. You'll have to defeat both of them to get the ultimate finish portion of the mission, which is where the skill drops. Annoyingly, I don't know if it's specifically Freezer that drops the skills, or if you just get the skills off by chance at the end of the mission. But either way, Cooler didn't drop either one of the skills. Both of the times it was either defeating Freezer or finishing the mission, and I didn't get a notification, so I'm just going to assume it's Freezer. For now, until someone tells me in the comments, not in your comment, and then just get some surprise warp Kamehameha's. Their defense is a little bit bigger, or a little bit stronger than you would expect, so you won't be able to smash them out in like two or three ultimates. It might take more than that. Their defense is um, strangely higher than I was expecting, but not unmanageable by any means. There's only two of them. What are they going to do? Tickle you to death? No. And a surprise warp Kamehameha for Frieza. And a little dead end rain never hurt anybody. Well, it did actually, that's the point. Android 16 has joined the battle. Android 16 used the parts gathered in a mission to fix him or something like that. I don't know. Get rid of Freezer at some point. Destroy him with extreme malice. Skill drop. Okay, Freezer dropped the first skill, uh, not the second one. <laughs> okay, needed to watch the video first, really, didn't I? So after I did this one the first time, I got the drop. That was a close, and now for the skill. So, total detonation ball absolutely dropped by Freezer, no question. 
but I think I'm fairly certain in saying that you kind of have to just finish the mission to get Photon Swipe, it doesn't tell you either way. But it, it's turned out to be a pretty nice skill, it doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but it's kind of useful in its own way, and you can probably find a decent use for it. But, you know, it's, it's one of those things. It's not amazing, it's pretty cool though, and that's kind of the point really. When we finish this mission, no skill drop, no skill drop indication, but we still got it. Next, we're going to be unlocking Savory Slicer, a really cool move that just is just, just amazingly cool. I don't care how little damage it does for me. <laughs> you get this in Spirit Bomb Away, Parallel Quest 140. You have to finish with Goku over 70% health when he's charging his Spirit Bomb to get the ultimate finish portion of the mission. So when you start this, Android 21 will be monologuing for about 17 years, so time will be on your side to transform and gather up the key, and uh, she will then turn into her naughty form, a very uh, uh, sausage form, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> She's a villainous character at this point. Just uh, do as much damage as you can. This is not just uh, defeat the boss and that's, that's it, because... Yeah, just it's um I don't know. This is this mission has one of those mechanics in it that I just don't really like when the when the boss is just invulnerable and like no health left and then you defeat them <laughs> and they get like suddenly like four health bars out of nowhere. But where did you get those? Were they in your Christmas stocking? <laughs> Either way, just keep going until you get the new enemy and Yoku starts charging up a spirit bomb and some evil clones will enter the fight. And it will look like there's only two of them, but then you, more will come as you defeat them. So originally it's Krillin and Goku, you get rid of Krillin or Goku, and then you get others like Yamcha and Piccolo and whoever else comes in, I completely forget. We'll watch the video together and find out. <laughs> but don't bother going after Android 21, you'll be wasting your time. Once she's got them like virtually no health, he'll just stay there infinitely until you get rid of the clones, which I don't really get again. But the clones themselves have a, basically no defense at all, like one ultimate and they're absolutely done, so... They won't take you very long, but the frustrating thing is you'll think, okay, now I can damage Android 21, and then some clones will appear again. I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> this is not what I wanted! But again, I hope you're reborn as someone good this time. The Super Soul is uh, really invaluable on this mission, and I would highly recommend taking Energy Zone so you can heal Goku, because, you know, under 70% health, you will not get the ultimate finish portion of the mission, and uh, you'll kind of be wasting your time. So just uh, bring that, heal him whenever you feel like it, um, you bide some time. I'm fairly certain there's a time limit. Um, I mean, I'm not 100% certain on that, but I'm, I think wait, as soon as it hits 11 minutes, uh, as, as soon as it hits 11 minutes, then he'll find the spirit bomb. Or it might be dependent on how many enemies you defeat. Um, I didn't really pay all that much attention, to be honest. I only did this mission once because I got everything from the first time I did it, <laughs> which was pretty nice. Clone Goku, Krillin, Piccolo, and Clone. What was the other one? <laughs> Clone Gohan, that's the one, Adult Gohan was done. And as soon as he hits 11 minutes, he'll go, Oh, finish! That was awfully coincidental that it was exactly on 11 minutes, really, wasn't it? I think it's on a timer. Hmm, how surprising. <laughs> so we'll fire the Spirit Bomb when Android 21 has no health left, and instead of killing her, she'll just get all of her health back and then some more. And then she'll get even stronger. <laughs> Flashback to the Brody missions. And then just take her out as quickly as you can, really. But oh no, there's a new enemy. This time, Android 16 is not on your side. What a shame. Although his health is pretty much normal, so you can get him with about maybe three, four ultimates. And he doesn't really go after you. He, I think, he goes after Goku. He just completely ignores you. It's quite rude. Um, I had to file a complaint. <laughs> just to blast him into oblivion until you've only got to go after Android 21. And luckily. Luckily, I say. Luckily, I say. I say. Once she's defeated, then the mission is over. And then you have to just do it 80 more times until you get the move drops. Or once, like me. <laughs> sometimes it works out and sometimes it really doesn't. When you get the ultimate finish, I got no visible skill drops. But this is where I got them. The skill drops. I meant this one. And finally, her ultimate move, excellent, full course, a battery super ultimate, which is extremely insulting, which is going to go on everyone's characters from now on. <laughs> Parallel Quest 142, Time Space Tussle. You're going to start this mission, and you're going to have plenty of time to charge up your key. I tell a lie. <laughs> this is the most annoying, annoying mission that I think I've ever had in a DLC pack, because it's just so frustrating. You're against four enemies at the start, and you only have three of you, so someone's getting teamed up on. 
and not to mention that the characters are unusually aggressive, they have a tendency to spam their ultimates, and on top of that, they switch characters quite a lot, so you'll just get hit in the back constantly. You'll be doing an ultimate on one enemy, and then someone else will go, you know what, I think I want a piece of that, and you'll get stamina broken and have a very bad time. So you just kind of have to tough it out. Um, just do as many spammy ultimates as you can, and just get rid of them as quickly as possible. As with all of these missions, teleport and moves like uh, Warp Kamehameha and also your Super Soul, I hope you reborn on someone good this time, will just be invaluable. Oh look, hit in the back, that never happened at all in this mission before. <laughs> How surprising. You will get kind of lucky, hopefully you'll manage to like smack one out of the way while they're trying to double team you, but I wouldn't hold your breath. You'll get hit in the back constantly, and it will be very nice, you'll have such a good time. And you won't want to swear at all. It'd just be amazing. Just such a family friendly time. <laughs> if you're interested in Oob's ultimate move, then that's where he drops it. There. Well, that's where it drops, I should say. He drops his own skill. How surprising. So if you wanted that move only, you can just pretty much breeze through this mission and just complete it. Or um, I'm fairly certain you could actually just let them beat you and you'll still get the move drop, which is quite nice. But if you want Android 21's move, which is what you're here for, then you've got more work cut out for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> much more work and I should say it's kind of like I mean it's not like it's not challenging but it's challenging in a kind of bad way <laughs> but when you take something like walk may it'll allow you to refill all of your key every time you defeat someone snap into someone else who's preoccupied the portal will open and it'll just let you take them out and I'd probably recommend just just stand on the rope on the floor just taking the flowers <laughs> get all your stamina back and then fly through the portal with haste and then you'll come face to face with the universe 6 team god of destruction champa vados and hit and, um, I mean, what I would recommend, I said this in the Oop video because he shares his ultimate drop with Android 21, so I had to do voiceover for this entire mission before. It's the exact same footage as well. Before anyone tries to call me out, I know I've done it. <laughs> but what I would recommend is as soon as you start into a new area, or the first area, whenever you go into an area and you have to fight people and you haven't started the fight yet, just, just stand still and just see who goes after you first because you want to go after the person who's aggroing on you the hardest. Uh, like I say, like, the enemies are super aggressive, spam their ultimates, spam their dashes constantly, and they will hit you in the back randomly and will switch opponents by a lot. So I will typically find with this mission that one character in particular will aggro on me much harder than everyone else. And then this time it was Champa, the previous match, I can't remember, I think it was like Margin Boo, um, you know, uh, Super Boo with Gohan Absorbed. Um, but it was definitely Champa in this one, in the next one I can't be sure, but just feed them all, the portal will open, fly through with haste and then you'll come into the greatest map in the game. <laughs> One of the greatest maps in the game, you've got Zamasu, and you've got Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito. I would recommend taking care of Vegito first. Not only did he aggro on me hardest, which isn't the main reason you take care of him first, but when you defeat Zamasu and Goku Black, then they will then somehow fuse into Fuse Zamasu, despite having been completely defeated. <laughs> So if you don't get rid of Vegito first, you'll have to fight Vegito and Fusamasu. Well, if you get rid of Vegito first, all you have to do is fight Fusamasu at the end of this one. You don't have two enemies, you've just got one. So it is kind of better, but again, like, they're not hard. So if you don't, it's not the end of the world. No one's going to die. I also mentioned this in the other video for unlocking Majub's moves. But his move, Flash Chaser, is just an amazing move for just parallel quests in general. But this one as well, because you've just got so many enemies and you can just fire at them and just get them all from behind every time, uh, also helps preoccupy them so your, your allies have something to hit while they're trying to block you or whatever it might be. So it's a really good move to bring with you, even if it doesn't suit your character build. It's just, you know, for the time being, it's just uh, it would help you out a lot. And it does quite a bit of damage. And it's only one key bar, so it's very decent, very nice, and it's an excellent move. Highly recommended. And eventually you'll get rid of Zamasu and Goku Black, and then you'll have a quick moment, and then Fusamasu will fly in with his graciously godly graciousness. <laughs> nothing fancy about this portion of mission, nothing different. Just spammy supers or spammy ultimates. Uh, he doesn't drop anything as far as I remember. He is just a standard enemy, and I wouldn't really waste much time trying to do anything fancy. Your teammates will be knocking him round out of your ultimates constantly, so just spam whatever you can. <laughs> So just blast him with your Wop Kamehameha over and over again, mercilessly. Stamina break him when he does a uh, when he does a Kagi films. He just launches a random ultimate. <laughs> Shots fired. The portal will open and you'll fly through with gracious haste. Voing! 
and next you'll land in space, and a portal will open, and you have this time to heal your team with energy zone, or use a regen capsule, or whatever kind, go through the portal with haste into the tournament of power, and that is when you have to fight off against Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, Kefla, Jiren, and Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, which sounds very difficult and, and one-sided, because it is, and it is. <laughs> But one thing I will say is just go after Master Ultra Instinct Goku first. Try and just spam ultimates on him first more than anyone else because he has the full auto dodge. He will dodge pretty much anything that's not a key blast and he, he tends to do a bit of perfect blocking himself. Um, and the more people you take out the better. His health is the lowest, his defense gets the lowest. And Jiren will also kind of launch ultimates in your back and hit you randomly. So if you get the numbers down from 4 to 3 you'll be better off. And in general Master Ultra Instinct Goku in this one particular is probably the most annoying one to take care of because you'll just be fighting Jiren, you'll get an ultimate ready and all of a sudden he'll just teleport behind you and boop, Soren Fist in the back. <laughs> he'll go bye and then you'll be flying off to the next map. So get rid of Master Ultra Instinct Goku first if you can. Um, Jiren not so much. Uh, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta is just extremely aggressive. So he's probably the second one to go after. Kefla didn't really do anything. Oh there it is. Look at that random teleporting and hitting him in the back. <laughs> Such nice game mechanics. I love playing this mission. I loved it so much. I had to play it seven times. And it's just so short as well. It's only 20 minutes long. To do that seven times, to get the skill at the end and the Super Soul in such a one-sided match is just so enjoyable. I had so many fun times playing this mission. <laughs> it's easily my favorite mission in the game. But once you get rid of at least one or two of them, then it starts to even out in your favor. And you can just spam your ultimates, get all your key back. Lock onto the next one, spam your warp Kamehameha, spam a Togibush, and I said get rid of Ultra Instant Goku first, but he was last on my list this time. But this is the first time I did the mission, and I got skill drop from this first, so hopefully you get the Super Soul as well. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll have to keep redoing this mission like I did seven times. You can use an energy zone at this point because this is not the end of the mission. You'll have to then do the ultimate finish portion of the mission, where in will fly in a surprise group of contenders. You'll have few, for whatever reason, Android 21 and Broly. Android 21 drops her own ultimate, so go after her first. I mean, I would normally say if the person you're going to go after doesn't drop their skill, after you defeat them, they might as well restart the mission, but honestly, you're in a 20 minute mission, and you're on the last three enemies, and you'll have two left. You might as well finish, like, get something out of it, for God's sake. You'll also find that with the other characters in this mission, particularly these ones, they will spam their ultimates a lot. And normally that wouldn't be too much of a problem, but Android 21's ultimate is just really difficult to get out of the way of, because it's so quick acting, and you don't have time to do a charged attack to stamina breaker, you can't drag and dash around her, you just can't really do anything. All you can hope to do is block evasive out of it, or step out of the way, and it's so quick and so fast, it's really difficult. Um, your only hope really is if it actually does hit you to use an evasive, or just hope the move doesn't hit, because it doesn't hit a lot of the times. <laughs> and there's the skill drop, very nice. I want to be very careful in this mission, because it's easy to lose sight of what your teammates are doing, and they're pretty useless, let's be honest, and they'll probably both get downed at some point, or very often, so <laughs> either uh, stay close to them, or uh, take lots of health regen potions, or if, if you're uh, quite content taking on the enemies by yourself, then do that. But don't do something silly now. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Oh, I can't tell you how much of a sausage I felt like right now. <laughs> like, oh no, god damn it, I gotta do it again? It's like a 20 minute mission? Oh no! <laughs> Completely didn't realize skills drop even if you lose the mission if you got the skill drop. So I was quite happy about that, I can tell you that. Z rank and the drop! When it comes down to the actual Super Soul, I can't be sure of who drops it, but I know Champa drops the Universe 6 baseball outfit, so if you want that, get it from there, but I didn't get an indication from anyone, so I think it's a random one for beating the mission, or you get it from Broly. Either way, here's the drop. If you want to learn how to unlock all of Marju's moves, I've done a video on that too, and until then, stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Axonius Rex. A b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b